Hey YouTube! Today we are going to be discussing the pros and cons of public schools and language centers in Vietnam. I'll be showing a video of me driving during this video. I know it seems random since this is a video about teaching, however I don't want to post videos of my students or other teachers and everyone always seems interested in driving in Vietnam. Before we get started, remember all of my videos are timestamped so if you want to skip to a certain subject just look down in the description for the time. Also, if you want to see my videos one week early, check out my Patreon. To start off, let's define what we are talking about. When I talk about working for a public school in this video, what I really mean is working for a company that sends English teachers to a public school. If you come to teach in Vietnam, you won't work directly for a public school. You would be interviewed and hired by a company, and that company then sends their teachers to different public schools. Language centers are a little simpler. You generally interview at the location you would then be teaching at. Now that we have that out of the way, let's jump into what is different about these two options. Let's start off with perhaps the biggest and most obvious difference, time. Public schools are generally open from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. Note that you wouldn't be working all of those hours. Typically, you only teach around 20 hours a week, but you can discuss this with your company if you want to teach more or less. Learning centers are basically the exact opposite. They are only open when the students are out of public school. So typically, they might open around 5 p.m. and close around 9 p.m. They'll also be open on the weekends. Some might only be open in the morning on the weekends. Some are open all day. Depending on your lifestyle, one might work better than the other. When I first started teaching in Vietnam, I was at a center. Now I am currently working for a public school. Overall, I prefer the hours at the public school, but it's not for everyone. One final note about the schedule. If you are working for a public school, you will need to make a plan for the summer. Language centers are open all year round, but the public schools shut down in the summer. Our next topic is pay. To start, I want to give some context. I am a native English speaker from the US, I have extensive teaching experience, and I am a white male. The numbers I am going to be giving here are a reflection of my experience. If you are a non-native speaker, if you don't have any teaching experience, or if you have a different skin color, you might get different offers. I know it may be surprising that racism exists outside of the US, but it absolutely plays a role in hiring here. For someone with similar qualifications to me, you shouldn't really be accepting anything less than about 500,000 Vietnamese dong an hour before taxes. This is true for public schools or language centers. The pay at either public schools or language centers will be about the same, but before we leave this topic I wanted to touch on some other details. For your pay, make sure the taxes are clear and easy to understand. At my first job at a language center, they never broke down the tax information for each paycheck. They never told anyone what the percentage was or how it was calculated. Since it was my first job here, I thought it must be normal. Now that I'm at a new school, I think they may have been ripping me off. My new school told me upfront before I even signed my contract the tax percentage. 
I am working the same number of hours as before at about the same pay rate, but somehow making more money now. One last note about pay. They only pay you once a month here. I'm not sure how the rest of the world operates, but in the US we get paid either bi-weekly or even weekly for some jobs. Related to pay are the other potential benefits. In my experience, the benefits tend to be better at the language centers. At the center I worked for, they gave the teachers health insurance and some paid time off. At my public school, there are no paid vacation days and they don't offer health insurance. Health insurance is cheap here, so I just paid for my own insurance plan when I switched schools. Now that we have all of those things out of the way, let's talk about the actual job. The actual work is what sets these two so far apart. Yes, they are both English teaching jobs, but they are very different. First, let's talk about lesson planning. Lesson planning for the language centers takes a long time. You basically need to plan every single lesson you teach unless one of those classes happens to repeat something you've already taught to a different class. The classes tend to be much longer at language centers and there's more pressure in general. You might have to fill out monthly, weekly, and daily reports about the students. You'll have to grade tests and write comments. In the public school, you will likely be teaching one grade. All the classes in that grade are learning the same material. That means you'll probably be making two lesson plans for your morning classes and two lesson plans for your afternoon classes each week. The lessons are shorter and there is virtually no reporting or grading. Having said all of that, many people might want to work at the public schools. Equal pay, better hours, less lesson planning and grading. This might be the part of the video where some people change their minds. The classes in the language centers are much smaller, maybe 10 to 20 students. The classes in the public schools might be 40 to 50 students. The language centers will typically have very good technology, whereas the public schools may or may not depending on where they are.
This is probably the most important part of the video. If you are brand new to teaching, I highly recommend you work for a language center first. They will offer better training and you will be working alongside other English teachers. In a public school, you are mostly on your own. Going from zero teaching experience to a class of 50 kids will likely result in a disaster. Most schools, public or centers, will want you to focus on speaking. The students already learn English reading, grammar, and so on from their Vietnamese English teachers. Your job as the foreign English teacher is to get them to speak better. The overall goal is the same for either public schools or language centers. The methods will vary greatly. In a language center, you can focus on small groups or individuals. You can easily set up different activities and move around. In public schools, you have 45 minutes to teach and 50 students in the class. There is no way to have each student practice speaking with you during every class. There is much less space to do different activities or move around. Both options have their pros and cons. Some teachers prefer one or the other, some teachers work at both. If you are planning to teach in Vietnam, make sure you attend a good TESOL or TEFL course and connect with trustworthy schools. That's about it for this video. Make sure you check out my Patreon. You can see my videos one week early there for free. No need to sign up for anything. If you have any questions about life in Vietnam, leave a comment below and I'll try my best to answer it for you. Thanks for watching.